Hey friends, welcome to another Average Bronco video where I bring you basic stuff that I'm doing to my 2021 Ford Bronco. Today I'm talking about the door sill protector that Ford Accessories actually sells. The Ford website where they have accessories, you know, they're actually adding accessories on a pretty regular basis and they have quite a few Ford Bronco accessories already available. Uh, the most accessories that Ford has ever made for any of the vehicles that they actually manufacture. They make these pretty cool looking door sill plates. Um, very good looking actually. They have a stainless steel looking one and then they have this black platinum one. I like the black platinum one. Of course I have the carbonized gray Bronco so I felt like the black platinum would look a little bit better, a little bit dressier looking. So I ordered them. I went to Ford's own website, go to the outdoor section or indoor section, I, I should say. Cost a little bit more than the regular ones, the stainless steel colored ones. Uh, but again, I, I felt like they might look a little bit better. So I purchased them. Uh, as you can see, they come with a 3M tape on the backside. So when you put them down, they are going to stay there. I typically like to use, anytime I'm putting something on a painted surface of any of my vehicles, I like to use uh, an alcohol solution to clean that surface to get any kind of wax or anything off of there that might hamper the adhesion of that 3M tape. Again, the 3M tape is pretty forgiving. If Even if you had something down so there, it's more that than likely going to stick. So by taking that 3M tape off of there, you really gotta make sure it. when you're positioning these. Nevertheless, I take the necessary precautions if I can. Um, they have an instruction manual that comes with these. Like most guys, I don't read the instruction manuals, but uh, I did look at these. And the instructions are pretty good, but I found that taking that top layer of tape off helped me to center it better. I felt like their instructions to leave the blue tape on there until you're ready to peel it off, until you're done, was not a good idea because it didn't allow me to get my necessary spaces to eyeball it right. Um, I used some of the markings on the Bronco that were already there to mark off uh, using my eyes and my fingers on the ends of exactly where I wanted to center the door sill plate. So again, I took the blue uh, semi-transparent stuff off. Now, I, for one, know my abilities. Uh, in some cases, I don't know uh, my lack of abil abilities. One thing that I did when I originally put this seal plate down, I bought two sets of it because, I, again, I know my abilities and my inabilities. And, of course, I needed both sets or at least one of the other set. When I followed the directions that the Ford Accessory people sent and left that blue tape on there, I didn't line it up properly and maybe I should have used a pair of scissors and cut across the top so that I could visibly see where the end of the plate was to know visually where it was going to be or even if I wanted to measure it but the blue uh, film kind of uh, got in the way so when I put it down originally it was crooked I mean ever so slightly maybe a 32nd of an inch this is what you don't want to do this thing is made out of metal if you try to lift it up, you are going to wrinkle this thing. Again, you're going to put wrinkles in it that will not come back up. This is the original unit that I put down on the driver's side. And as you can see, it's ruined. There was no way you're getting these wrinkles out of it. By trying to peel it up and remove that 3M tape, did nothing but create wrinkles all the way across this thing. So this one went th uh, straight in the trash can. So that's my lesson to you. Make sure that you have this thing exactly where you want. I felt like taking the blue tape off the top gave me a much better visual and I was able to put the second one, my <laughs> plan B, I was able to do that pretty quick and pretty easily and effortlessly. Did not see the reason to leave that on there. As you can see, these seal plates polish perfectly. Once you're done with them, you can take fingerprints off of them and no problem whatsoever. But nevertheless, it was an issue. You're not repositioning these things. Uh, again, if it were just a hard plastic, or something like that, or even a decal, you could probably peel it off and reposition it. These are pretty much metal with 3M tape on the very bottom side of it, so you are not going to reposition these. Once they're in place, they are in place. I like the way it looks. As you can see, it's not going to protect the actual seal part, the edge, where my work boot is more than likely going to hit it. As you can see, my old vehicle, my work truck that I use, the seal is taking a bit of a beating. The edge of it, where my work boots scuff it and hit it coming and going, going in and out of it, uh, tend to knock the paint off of it. I'm sure there's gonna be some other aftermarket parts that I can put on this one little seal right here. You can see the Bronco's already taken since I put this on there. Um, it's taken a little bit of a beating. So I am gonna be looking for something that I can put there to protect the paint right there. Now, does it look good? Absolutely, it looks good. Is it functional? Not totally. I mean, if you're stepping directly down on that sill area, maybe, 
But I, I would say that these are more for looks than they are utilitarian purposes. Be on the lookout for something else that might actually protect um, that edge of the paint right there. This upper section over here, as you can see, it's got some plastic protecting it. And you can see I beat it up pretty good with my work boots. So anyway, this is my, isn't my daily driver. I just happen to be driving into a couple of jobs and that's how this happened. I'm gonna try to put an average Bronco video out once a week. Um, I have several things, small things that I'll be doing to my Bronco. So you guys might wanna see it, follow along. If you don't mind, please subscribe and please share this in any of the uh, Bronco groups that you guys might be a part of. I would surely appreciate that. Thank you.